This Anzac Day is the first time I can remember since I was about five years of age that I haven't been at a public gathering, march or ceremony to commemorate Anzac Day. Of course, as a young nation, World War I was a defining moment. It was the first time we were really tested in battle and our soldiers of that time rose with great courage to face that battle. They were young, they gathered in Albany, Western Australia, they marched down Stirling Terrace and they boarded the first convoys to Gallipoli. And as they sailed out of King George Sound, their cooees could be heard and the locals gathered on the headlands and in the streets until the last cooee could be heard. And what is powerful about that moment and sad and distressing is that for many of the young soldiers on that convoy, that was their last sight of Australian land. Today, we commemorate their sacrifice, the blood spilled on the beaches of Gallipoli, the hardship of the trenches on the Western Front. And we remember all those who paid the supreme price who laid down their lives in service of this country. We also remember all those men and women who since that time have served Australia in all forms of conflict, in peacekeeping missions for the United Nations. That sacrifice is the price our country has paid for the freedom we enjoy today. And whilst this Anzac Day is one like no other, I hope people will still gather in their driveways at 6am and remember that sacrifice as a young nation forged an identity that is remembered now and will be remembered in the future, lest we forget. They shall grow, not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. lest we forget. <laughs>